Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today we're studying a video from The Open University. They have a lot of really interesting videos on their YouTube channel, including this one, which is an interview with a comedian called Izzy Sati. The title of the video is Crafting a Joke with Izzy Sati. To craft means to make something using special skills. You make some toast, but you wouldn't say you craft some toast because making toast doesn't take any special skill. But you could say that this bird is crafted out of wood and some kind of metal, maybe copper or brass, I don't know. But you could say that it's crafted because it takes some special skill to make it. One thing that Izzy says in the video about crafting jokes is that the best thing to do is have the final reveal or the most important element of the punchline at the very end of the sentence. And she gives an example of a bit or a joke that she tells about asking her mother if she's adopted. So she says to her mother that she thinks she might be adopted for various reasons and her mother says to her, no, of course you're not adopted. We never would have chosen you. So the joke is that at first it seems like the mother is reassuring her and she seems nice and supportive and then the punchline is that she says something horrible. If she did adopt someone, she would have chosen someone else. So the point Izzy is making is that it's important to have that you right at the end of the sentence and not to have anything after it. Kia ora, in stick news today, the daughter of the nephew of former President Kennedy got upset after she was refused entry into a nightclub in New York. Kyra Kennedy is related to John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States. Recently, Kyra decided to go to a club in New York. In the United States, the drinking age is 21, so you're supposed to be 21 to get into most clubs. Kyra is only 19, so she attempted to use her 26-year-old sister's ID, but she couldn't remember the date of birth and was caught looking it up on Wikipedia. When the club refused to allow her in, she allegedly threw a tantrum. She screamed, I am a Kennedy, Google me. And that was Stick News for Thursday the 12th of March. Kia ora. Today's word is bit. In the video, Izzy says, I've got this bit where I say that I asked my mum if I might be adopted. In comedy, a bit is a piece of material from a comedian's show or routine. If you see a stand-up comedian perform, afterwards you might talk about a bit that you particularly enjoyed. For example, my favourite comedian is Bill Burr, and I really like his bit about motherhood being the most difficult job on the planet. What's a bit that you love? Who did you say was your favourite comedian? No. Is he from New Zealand? Wow. How do you know all that? Do you know him? What kind of podcast is it? Bill Burr. Have you heard of him? No, he's from the States. He's originally from Boston, not the formerly dodgy area, which everyone assumes, but some other non-dodgy area. And he now lives in Los Angeles with his wife, Nia, and they've just finished renovating the downstairs of their house because they had some kind of water damage. No, not personally. I just listened to his podcast. It's just him rambling on about stuff like his house and traveling and comedy. It's great. He's hilarious. Izzy Sati talks about A. Crafting a joke B. Making toast Crafting a joke 
Izzy says it's important to have the most important element of the punchline, A, at the start of the sentence, B, at the very end of the sentence. At the very end of the sentence. Kyra Kennedy is A, a teenager, B, a Google employee. A teenager. The drinking age in the United States is A, 18, B, 21. 21. Bill Burr is originally from A, Boston, B, LA. Boston. And that was The Daily Englisher. If you use Facebook, you can follow us here. We post the show to Facebook every day, so that's one way you can watch the show. You can also go directly to YouTube or Daily Motion or go to our site, thedailyenglishshow.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.